Hi there, I am uh, up in the mountains here in Norway and I am attending a uh, man tracking course. Um, so uh, <laughs> uh, I, I just wanted to say a few words about that um, and uh, hopefully uh, later today uh, the instructor will have time to uh, you know show a little bit about the techniques and uh, yeah, just just a very very brief uh, introduction, uh, I guess something like that. I will ask her. It's actually a woman, and she's quite famous for her man tracking skills. Um, now, I will say this. Um, I, it's uh, you know this is the third day and uh, last day of the course and. Uh, well, I'm doing the man tracking course because I think it could be useful if um, someone gets lost and uh, you know my dogs are not trained for search and rescue. Um, well, may maybe I should get into that, but at the moment they, they are not. And um, well, maybe you get in this into a situation where you have to search for someone. Any parent out there. Uh, you know, I, I guess we have all thought about this. Well, what if my kid gets lost, and uh, would I be able to find uh, find my kid, <laughs> and all that? Well, th there are many scenarios here. Um, I will say this: that it's been very interesting, and it's not like well, it's sort of like what I thought, but also not. Um, and I think it was yesterday that I realized that I have to think less and kind of just get into that zone. Uh, because if I overthink it, I lose the track. Of course, it takes many years to get good at uh, man tracking. Uh, I will say that I think it's more difficult than following animal tracks, um, which I've done a lot. I'm quite experienced in the outdoors, uh, you know, but uh, I thought this, this would be great to get into, and, you know, and and to, to learn a little bit about this um, man tracking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, it is very difficult. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to, to see these tracks and in this terrain here, um, and it was actually me, I picked this terrain and we went up into the mountains here in Norway and it's uh, maybe one of the hardest, most difficult terrains uh, to track in, uh, I have been told. Um, but then again, people tend to get lost, at least here in Norway, in terrains like this. So, um, enough of me talking, uh, I will uh, get back to, to the course and uh, hopefully the instructor will, will have time to show us a little bit, a little bit of uh, the techniques. Okay, so we'll just quickly go through a scenario here. So for me, I, I'm mostly concerned with people getting lost, right? So let's say someone was walking along this road and decided to take a turn to the left into the shrubbery, <laughs> like this. Of course, we could all see where I was walking, but I think now we will see uh, if we can find the tracks uh, and identify the tracks on the ground. So basically, when we are looking for uh, someone, uh, and uh, we are quite sure that this subject has uh, uh, intentionally, or uh, even uh, due to other reasons, left the main trail, uh, we are looking for a design of the road or the main trail we're looking for signs for clues of this passage 
in this case, uh, we can clearly see that this is the point, the exit point, uh, on which the subject uh, left the main train to make his way down the slope and to the vegetation. Let's go a little bit closer. We can see some flattening into the grass. We can even better identify this passage because of this clear line the subject left. Then this line is moving into this direction. Right in front of us, there's another area that we need to investigate. But even before, a nice compression related to the right foot of the person that is leading inside the thick vegetation here. Now, if we are looking carefully, we can see that there are potentially some breaks. If we are able to see them, there are also some scratches that are corresponding to the mechanical action of the subject passing, making his way into the thick vegetation here. And then, again, as before, we have some bending and flattening of the grass, indicating once again the direction of travel. Okay, hello again. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, moved. I'm in a different location. I am by the, the river, as you can see. Well, as you can see. And I just wanted to say that uh, during uh, the last day, the last day of uh, the trekking course that I was attending was dedicated to hiding your tracks, which was quite interesting because we learned a lot about how people leave tracks by trying to not leave tracks, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, so, oh, hold on, is that one of those flies again? Yeah, the deer loves flies, I almost don't mind them anymore. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, um, one way to hide your tracks is to create some kind of uh, extra layer under your shoes or your boots. Uh, and it actually works. <laughs> it actually works and it kind of feels like something from uh, Donald Duck. If you know what I mean, um, something like that. It's, but it, it actually works. So I, I made some uh, shoes out of uh, twigs and uh, well, extra soles under my shoes, made out of twigs and uh, grass and moss. Um, yeah, so it was quite funny. But actually, what worked even better was walking barefoot. When I was walking barefoot, I left no tracks. So I find that very interesting. But anyway, um, I hope you found this video uh, interesting as well. And uh, I will soon be back uh, with an overnight video. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please. Please do. <laughs> okay, bye.